y'all doing? There's going to be about a million petitions signed to get Clarence Thomas out. Hmm. Where have you been? Oh, yeah. Selective mute, selective cancel culture. Hmm. Let's see. We'll go after music artists. We'll go after directors in Hollywood. We'll do that. Not old Uncle Clarence Thomas. You know, Anita Hill told you what he was about. Where was this feminist movement at then? Hmm. All his legislation. Where was it at? Oh, but now, because he's coming after your rights, now all of a sudden you woke up. Ben told you that this is one of the most biggest Sambo sellout, jive, tap dancing, bucking, clucking embarrassments of a black man ever. And he's top of the food chain. He's the king of coonery, queen of hate, self-hate, self-loathing, and embarrassment, and embarrassment beyond embarrassment. He He's so, like, even the worst Klan men will look at Clarence Thomas and think, Boy, you, I mean, we don't really want you that extreme. And I'm thinking, why now? Why are they all of a sudden so, oh, yes, yeah, because he's impeding on what they want. But it ain't been that way. Where's this energy been? He always been shuffling, and he was pro-right pro right and pro and pro-white. Got his clan wife with him, who's a lawyer, and she's even more embarrassing. And they've been breaking laws, and they're going to break it, and they're going to do what they want. So why are you shocked? You should have been petitioning his butt out 30 years ago. But you didn't believe Anita Hill. So you selectively downplayed a black woman's significance in her honesty. Now you reap what you sow. I been couldn't stand that buffoon. I mean, Clarence Thomas has been the worst. For what? But, but because now he says, okay, we're going to lock these plays, we're going to stop these procedures, and then we're going to end, end these other things. Now, all of a sudden, y'all hip to him? If you don't be studying the politics, then you don't know. He's always been a self-hating Uncle Tom, and he, and he will do anything that he thinks is white. I mean, right. Well, same thing in his world, and a lot of these people's mindset, you know, because he's a good boy, and you can pat him on the head and give him a cookie and some milk, and he's, like, he's a good boy. They tell him to fetch, so they get what they want. So it can't be shocked or surprised. It's like, why were you so late to the hours about him? Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And you should always keep that energy. She kept that energy for Kavanaugh, too, because that's trash, racist, trash, predatory behavior. But anybody talking about that, though? A lot of them are on there. Between underneath that gown on that Supreme Court, them some freaks. I'm out.